Gracious good morning traders, this is Dez here at Crock Trade. It's Thursday, June 16th, 2011. And the markets continue southbound. You can see pre-market futures. This is even before jobless claims gets released here in just a couple minutes. That uh, down 0.4% on the um, uh, S&P. Dow down 0.4% well, also. And NASDAQ down 0.3%. And what I want to show you, this is the XPX, this is the S&P, 60-minute chart, huge falling wedge, big one. On the 60-minute chart, we are starting to curl heading up. And with this, I want to, let me delete these lines. When do you see that falling wedge, which is bullish, but let me go to the daily. The thing I want you to see is this massive symmetrical triangle. We, get, we have this big symmetrical triangle, massive support, 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 support coming up here, support. And let's blow this up. We have some significant support here. This swing low coming over here, 1257 is a key area, which is right where the 200 day moving average, simple moving average is coming up. Huge trend line coming up. It uh, should act as support. And then the 1250, which gives us that low also coming over. This area could be where we'll see our bounce. So if we do drop today is what looks like is going to happen. Uh, we could be looking today or tomorrow for an opportunity to actually make some long positions here. But we'd want to protect ourselves with some really good stop losses. But we could see some nice upside potential here. We're very oversold at this moment. So what I'm going to do is go to the spiders. We're going to look at a five-minute chart. Five-minute. And ooh, on the five-minute, we're starting to get a little pop here. Look at this big pop. Big, big pop. And let's see what I am finding on news here. On jobless claims. We also have new home starts. Housing starts coming out. We're still waiting for data to come in. Um, but anyway, we're over the, this is a five minute chart. We're heading up nicely on the 60 minute. And we need to add another line here. Well, that's on a five minute. So let me go to a 60 minute. There's our pop, but we need to add a line right there. Right there. All right, jobless claims came in. At, we're still over 400,000, 414,000 versus the 420 expected. So we beat expectations. However, uh, we're still over 400,000. So slightly better than expected is what we have here. So that's helping out the markets um, ever so slightly. And at this very moment, we do see that we are seeing a bounce in stock futures. All right, so let's take a look at some of these lines for resistance areas. Resistance areas. Here's what we're looking at today. I know I'm going a little fast, but you'll let me know if it's too fast. And when it comes to the support areas, Here's what we're looking at for today. Okay, there it is. Take care and safe trading.